Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty and today is Sunday, September 19th, 2021. And this message is for the week of September 19th or whenever it is that you are hearing this message. So the cards have already been pulled and if you notice, all of these cards are pink. And the color pink is representative of our heart chakra, our heart space. And when I'm doing a reading, every single detail that goes on throughout that reading is significant to the reading. So the first thing that I noticed when I pulled the three cards out was the color. So I think that today, whenever you're hearing this message, it is so important for you to take notice as to where it is that you are needing to heal your heart. Maybe you are feeling the heaviness of the world and it is just a lot. Maybe you are just um, holding so much space for so many people that you're forgetting to hold space for yourself. So today's cards we pulled are from the Mermaids and Dolphins deck. And that deck is about really going in deep to our feelings and our emotions because that's where the mermaids and dolphins swim deep in the waters and water represents emotions. And we're going to start with card number one and we're going to go through the three cards. And I didn't even invite you to pick a card because I really think today's reading is critical to just look at all three cards because every human being on this earth is going through a healing process. Mother Earth is going through a healing process. And it is so important for you to take note if you are interested in doing healing, if you are interested in doing personal growth, and look at where in your life you can give yourself more love, more compassion, and in turn, offer yourself healing. So starting with card number one, that card says, make time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, including in much needed self-care. So let's face it, it's very heavy, the world right now. There is stuff going on. You can't get, uh, you wake up in the morning and you can't get away from all of the divide, the fighting, the hate, the rage, the ridiculous crap that's going on in the world. It's so hard and it's so heavy to just say, I'm just going to step away from this for the day because so many people are full of fear or so anxious that they feel like they have to keep checking to see what they missed. What's the next thing that's going on? But what I want you to understand is that it is so important for you to detox, step away from from all of the stuff that you're seeing, hearing, reading, because it's toxic. And this card is saying to you, you need to have peace and solitude. Take care of yourself. When you're feeling the heaviness, go outside in nature, take a walk. Just stand on the deck. If you have a deck or a patio, look up in the sky, look at the clouds. Look at the sun. When it's raining and thunderstorming or windy, all of these parts of um, weather, they all represent something. So when, it's, when the wind is blowing, that's air. Air represents thoughts. I want you to imagine all the thoughts that are circulating on Mother Earth right now. There's gotta be a lot, right? Imagine what's going on in your head just take yourself as an example. It's got to be a lot. Unless you are taking the time to really step away and detox from toxic relationships, toxic people, toxic electronics, toxic things that you're seeing, hearing, and reading through social media, through the news, through the newspaper, if people even read that anymore. It's got to be a lot. So... When you think about that and you think about what is going on in your daily life, where can you offer yourself 
quiet time. More healthy options for yourself to take care of yourself. Don't get so caught up and lost in what is going on around you that you forget to take care of your, yourself because that is the most important thing that you can and need to be doing for yourself right now. If you don't take care of yourself, you cannot take care of anybody else in your family. And it has to start with you. So that's our first card. Going into our second card, it says Father Healing. And it says your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. Now, of course, this card has multiple meanings. So when a card comes up, we always look at the card first and we always say, well, what does it say on the card? But then intuitively, there's more guidance that comes through when I'm doing a reading. So if you are someone who has a relationship with a father figure that needs healing, obviously it's black and white, it's on the card and, and that's what this is about. And maybe you're going through a tough time right now, so you need to take better care of yourself. And that's why this card is coming up next. But truly, this card is coming up for the main reason, which goes back to the world and what is going on in the world. And I've said this before in a few videos, but the situation that escalated 18, 19 months ago via... A virus is really a war between spirit and evil and spirit is your creator and it is so important to notice where you your relationship with your creator lies right now do you have faith in that relationship do you have trust in that relationship or do you feel like you have to do it all by yourself? Because you're standing here on the earth plane and where is the creator up in the heavens? But we're here on earth as humans, so we don't really see the creator. So if you don't see something nine times out of 10, you don't believe it's real. So where is that relationship that we, you individually have with the person, the, in the, the spirit, um, the energy of what created you. Going through this process for the last 19 months, part of what it, what it came about for is to show you how much faith you really do and don't have in that connection. Do you connect with your creator every day? This is non-denominational, so I say God, Jesus, but you could call it something else. You can call it divine energy. You can call it universal energy. We all didn't just plop onto this earth out of nowhere. Some higher power created this beautiful earth that we live on. And why are we as humans destroying it? By destroying each other and then in turn destroying the earth. Why are there so many humans that are trying to take the role of father over? I don't care what your job title is, what your career is, what your position is. We are all equal. We are all human beings. We are all spirits in the human body having a human experience. No one is better than another. No one in a political system, whether it is government, financial, medical, educational, environmental, no one is above another. And if you look around at what is going on in our world right now, what you see is so many obediently listening to a select few who are standing in the role of father. But who put them in that role to begin with? Their ego, first of all. 
And second of all, by standing in that role of power, do you really intuitively in the heart, in the belly, in the head feel that those few people who have stood in that role of father are doing so to protect you? And do you really believe that you or they, I should say, can do a better job of taking care of you than you can, than the creator of this earth can? This situation that we are experiencing over 18 months is, is really inviting you and encouraging you to get quiet with yourself, to take more time in solitude, to get to know yourself better, to get to know the ins and outs of you so that you can develop courage to stand on your own two feet, to stand firm like a mountain and be unwavering so that when something comes along that is not of the universal divine light, you know that it's not coming from your creator. And you have the tools that you need by taking this time to stand in your power and say no or stand up for yourself when you need to. This is the most important card of this spread because if you and the people around you do not start connecting fully with the creator of, the heaven, of heaven and earth, nothing is going to change on this earth. We each have to do our part here of internal, personal growth, truly tuning into ourselves in order for this aspect of healing to continue. And the third card is saying just that it, we have to break free. We have to break free from narratives, from patterns, from behaviors, that are not serving us. Do you think that what is going on in this world is serving us right now? Absolutely not. In what way can you help to shift that narrative? In what, what can you do to serve yourself and others? And when I say serve yourself first, I don't mean it as a selfishness. I mean it as you're including yourself in the whole of the people around you that you are helping because you did this work and you did this work and now you have the courage to break free. If there is something that you feel deep in your heart, in your soul, in your mind and in your body, you stand up for it. That's the only way that we grow. And that is the only way that we are going to step out of all of this that is no longer serving us. So where are you in this three card spread? Are you starting the process or are you here? You're not even doing it. You're not interested. You think healing is condescending. You think healing is not for you. Or are you in this space? Or are you getting to this space where you're connecting more with the creator? Or are you in this space where you have put in so much work on yourself that you feel so confident and assured that you're able to break free and nothing's shifting that? We're in different stages here, each one of us. And in that, where can you find compassion for those that are maybe here, they're not even doing the work? Or here, where they're just starting? Or here, where they're creating more faith and trust in the creator. Or here, where they're breaking free. Because these people that are standing up and breaking free are having a hard time with these people that aren't doing anything. And vice versa. These people think these people don't know what they're talking about. So I hope that today's reading helps you to understand where we're at. Where are you in this process? I hope that this message served you today and I wish you a great week. Bye-bye.